Right, here we are in the woodland and near home now and we're here to try and find some scarlet elf caps. Here we are. Bearing in mind it's the 1st of February. Scarlet elf caps are edible fungus. We come across the acres. They're growing on the dead branches uh, of this hazel. I'm going to pick a few of these now. And we'll uh, add them to our meal for later on. Very pretty fungus, not much of a taste to them, but uh, very edible. We've come across now some nice uh, penny wort. We'll pick a few of these and we'll mix them with our food later on. Okay. Right, here we are now, we're going to pick some gorse flowers and put into a meal. And gorse flowers, they are a coconut type uh, flavour to whatever we're going to cook. Welcome to uh, Coastal Forest and Craig Evans again. Uh, we're down in uh, West Wales now on the extreme uh, coast of St. Bride's Bay. And to the right we can see Solva, St. David's and Ramsey Island. And to the left there's Skomer Island and we've got Vickett's Head. And out in the bay we can see the sheltering tankers, sheltering from a 25 knot wind today. And we're going to go down into the rock pools, across the lagoon, to see what we can forage. And uh, just look forward to the meal we make up. Right, we're going to cook this later on now. This is lava, with, uh, which is what lava bread is made from. It's called Porphyra umbilicalis. And it's what the Japanese know, similar species, which is called nori. It's a uh, very thin, very thin seaweed. And to make lava bread, you just need to simmer it for about four hours and then uh, just uh, blitz it in a food processor. Ready? Yeah. yeah. That's a xantho or pie crust crab, so they don't get much bigger than that. And there'll be a uh, nice flavour in our food. Let's have a look at it. I'll we'll measure them later on. Crabs. The feisty devil crabs. Yeah, the, ve the velvet swimmers with the mean red eyes. Yeah, yeah they're showing that we've got some, uh, some periwinkles to eat later on. The boy those. So we've got some uh, pennywort, some sorghum from further up, a few mussels, and earlier on the video you can see that we've got some scarlet elf caps. I got a couple of xantho crabs or pie crust crabs. That's that's their adult size. Uh, times are quite hard today, so we've just got some limpets. Beds. We've got some periwinkles, dog whelks in there. We've got a velvet swimming crab. We've got a little bit of um, lava.
sea lettuce and uh, an edible crab edible crab just about takeable size yeah, just to show you now didn't get these today but got them a couple of days ago on the clear they estuary they're very big oysters and brought with us we cook them with the uh, with the meal just to explain now we're going to uh, because we're going to do a, a kind of asian dish with soy sauce this is sea radish which is uh, quite spicy which is the equivalent of uh, wasabi peel say it's a he because of the flap which is uh, as you can see triangular shape as opposed to a female it'll be more oval as a male yeah now these mussels have been previously boiled mussels oysters have been previously boiled now so we'll open the shell and see what we got Nice big healthy oyster. Put him to one Some side. To that one. And there. Do the same with this one. Get in there, okay. Very old oysters. As you can see. If you look in there, each one of those uh, lines represent a year's growth. There it is. So, all nice, firm, delicious oyster meat. I've been cooking nicely now, so we've got the uh, limpets that come out of the shells. The crab is cooking nicely. We've got the mussels, periwinkles, xanthal crabs. I reckon another, another five minutes we'll be right now. Yeah, we just cut the oysters up into a manageable size now before putting them into the into the meal. Delicious. Yeah, leave them to cool on there now. Don't need the uh, shell. Next is some of my roasted lobster shell powder along with a few uh, rock samphire seeds. Put some of the ingredients back in now. Put in some of the claws of the damper crabs. Put in the claws of the edible crab. A few of the scarlet elf cap fungus. Yeah. And there's some of the sea radish, which is the equivalent of wasabi. Some of the 
any wort and if you haven't tried it before it tastes like a cross between cucumber and uh, pea pods up in the cliff there we just picked some lovely lemony tasting uh, sorrel off before serving then puts in a few more of the scarlet elf cap fungus in yeah there there's a there's Chris's meal hand over to Chris now thank you looks good yeah, and I'll do my own and uh, carry on and see what it tastes like there we are then so we're trying the food now so Thing is, we've got uh, rice noodles, scalded elf caps, uh, three types of crab, oysters, a few mussels in there, uh, limpets. Mm. Soy sauce, powdered oyster sh um, lobster shell, penny wort. Not bad. Scarlet elf caps. Crabs, high crust crabs. The size of the crab with a massive claws. Mm -hmm. 